Wow, it has been an amazing couple of weeks, everyone. Startup Wars has been going fantastic. And I'm here today to share with you some of the new features that we've been working on, some of the feedback and the results of our second alpha that we are currently in right now, uh, and the roadmap for what's coming up next. So let's get started here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go through is we're gonna go through our new application. Now this is gonna be new for a lot of you because a lot of you participated in 2020 in our first alpha and you haven't seen the updated application, the updated gameplay. Uh, so I'm really excited to show you. For those of you who are currently participating in the second alpha, uh, you might have seen some of this, but some of it might be new to you. Uh, so we'll just go through it really quick. So the first thing that we are going to do here is we're going to create our company name. We call it Jedi Co. Uh, this is a dating company, this uh, particular simulation. So I'm going to select a logo that's related to dating. I'm going to pick a random avatar here. All right. And this is actually one uh, based from my uh, good friend, Alexis. So I'm going to pick hers. And then I'm going to select my city and my company type. Now we currently have LLC and C Corporation. Uh, one of the feedback items that teachers have given us is that they really would love to see the benefit corporation status, right? And what does it mean to be a social impact business? So one of the things that we're going to be adding next is the benefit and social impact type of simulations. Uh, but for now, we, we have LLC and C Corporation. So I'm going to pick one here and then I'm going to confirm it. And then we're going to jump into the actual gameplay. Now, one of the things you guys will notice is that uh, this is all on web. So uh, the feedback from the students, right, has been, hey, it's awesome on mobile. We love it, right? But some students, whether if they're international, especially they're behind a firewall uh, or if they have an older device, have not been able to use the mobile version. So we ported it to web uh, to allow us to basically, you know, adhere to, and to meet the demand from all the different students uh, who are participating in the program. All right, so let's start out with some of the new features that we've created. Now, if you guys have participated in 2020 in our first alpha, a lot of this will be new to you and the actual flow itself will be new. Uh, if you have already participated in the second alpha or if you are interested in trying it, please let me know. Um, you know, some of the stuff might be new to you, some of it might not. So let's dive in either way. All right, so the first thing that we've done is we've introduced a new concept of founder events, right, and founder decisions. So what are these? Well, let's think about have, us having our own business, right? If we started a dating company, like the next Tinder, and we wanted to start the business tomorrow, well, what are some big decisions that we have to make? We would probably have to decide, right, what is our demographic that we're going to target? We're going to decide uh, what's our niche. We're going to, have to decide uh, what type of team we want and that we need to actually uh, hire in order to build out this product. Uh, we need to decide our go to market strategy. You know, all those different things are big founder decisions. So we've introduced a founder decision mechanic. Uh, this particular uh, event that came up is uh, to choose your demographic. So the player needs to decide all right, what type of uh, demographic do they want to target for their business. I'm just going to pick one at random. Each one has different pros and cons. Uh, there's no right or wrong answer in Startup Wars, uh, but there are, again, pros and cons to every decision. So uh, founder events have been one new feature that we created. Uh, we also uh, expanded the employee meet. I can't speak today. I haven't had my coffee. We've also expanded the employee recruitment uh, mechanic. So if we go to the recruiter, Mrs. Laura Walters, and we take a look for some new employees, we're going to see there's we have a lot more employees now. You can refresh the list to get additional ones. And the most important thing is the employee skills actually matter. Right. So if we look, take a look at the design skill, the development skill, the marketing skill, uh, these are hooked up now. And the player now has to be a lot more strategic on who they hire for what type of role. So if they have a lot of development work, they might want to hire a developer. If they have a lot of design work, they might want to hire a designer. Right. So I'm going to hire a person at random, Yvette here. And we're going to say goodbye to Laura. We're going to go back to our office. All right, so we got Yvette with us, uh, with the founder here. And now they're both idle. Why? Well, because we haven't assigned them any work yet. So one of the things that we want the students to really learn is in Startup Wars is how to start thinking about their team and the business in terms of executable actions, right? What are the main strategies I'm going to pursue? Like, am I going to focus on research first? Am I going to focus on... Uh, product first? Am I going to try to get some customers first? Or, and then after that, who's going to work on what? How long is everything going to take? So we built that into the gameplay. Uh, we have three different phases. It's ready, set, go. So the ready phase is selecting your goals for the week. 
So again, you know, I can focus on uh, research and I'm not going to do any marketing because I don't think that's going to be beneficial. I'm going to incorporate because I want to actually register with the state uh, and maybe I can work on start building some industry uh, partnerships uh, as well. All right. So once we set our goals for the week, now it's time to actually set our sprint plan. And one of the things that's been really cool, and I'm going to go to some of the feedback results here, is that uh, sprint plan uh, and what is sprint planning is one of the, uh, the things, one of the terminology that a lot of students just didn't know, right? A lot of students had no idea, you know, what a sprint plan is, um, what like resource planning is as a concept, uh, and you know why and what they would hire employees for. So it was really cool. We saw about 43% of students, um, you know, didn't know what this was before, and now do know. So you know, when we talk about educational value, uh, we're definitely getting, uh, you know, going on the right direction here. What was also interesting is we saw uh, that students did not know what user churn rate was. Um, what SEO rating is, right? Uh, and then, you know, some students didn't know what some um, terms like distribution costs, subscriptions, uh, average purchase value, et cetera. But really user churn rate and SEO were the two most prevalent uh, at about over 60% each. And that was actually surprising. Like I could understand uh, user churn rate, but I was very surprised about SEO. So again, I'm very, very glad to see this data because this is showing us that we're exposing students to terminology that they need to use in a business Right, but they don't quite yet know. So if we go back here, I'm going to set the, uh, the sprint plan and I'm going to assign my employees to different uh, tasks. And we can see that we've also introduced the mechanic where their skills now reflect on the sprint plan. So if I'm not a good designer and I assign uh, myself to a design task, it's going to take me longer than if I were skilled in it. Right? Now we, I'm going to go through and assign some work to her and I'm going to assign some work to her. Okay, and yes, I want to go more than 40 hours and we're going to confirm it. Now, as we go through and once we set our plan for the week, we click play. Now, the actual team uh, that we hired, they're going to start to do their work, right? As uh, they're working, some different events will come up. Um, those are more randomized, you know, based upon certain conditions. So they won't come up in this first week. But we can see that the cash is just burning down, burning down, burning down here, right? And so one of the things that we've done is we've asked the students, did you get a sense of urgency from the gameplay? And most students said, yes, we did, right? About 52% said it felt super urgent to proceed before my finances ran out. And that was amazing data because that shows us that, hey, oh, we're getting them the real experience. You know, it is not realistic to say, okay, I have unlimited amount of money and I can just, you know, make poor decisions and there will be no consequences, right? This is what a textbook doesn't give you. So this was a huge um, you know, data point for us. Uh, and uh, it's, you know, really awesome because I think it shows that we're in the right direction. The other 45% said that they felt somewhat urgent, but only a small fraction, less than 3%, said it didn't feel urgent at all. So really, really great data here. All right. Now, let's take a look here. Oops. All right, now let's take a look here at our weekly report. So we can see here that we've added um, our weekly revenues. These numbers have been updated and calculated correctly. Uh, so the user obviously is not going to receive any revenue their first week. Why? Well, because they haven't done anything to actually uh, you know, make money, right? You don't make money in your first week of business. It's an unrealistic expectation, but one that a lot of new students um, and new entrepreneurs come into and they do have those unrealistic expectations. So it's great um, you know, getting the feedback uh, data from the actual students because we can see what they're learning and what they're not. Uh, they're also learning about the weekly expenses, which is awesome. We've updated this and we've added a more sophisticated uh, uh, updates for the goals section as well. So they can see how far they are in completing certain goals that they've set out to complete. Awesome. So that is our first week. And those are some of the new features that we've created here. All right, so let's talk for a second about some of the additional feedback uh, from all the students. We can see here that uh, we've asked the students you know, what they would really like to see in the next release. And we have a majority by about, you know, uh, I'd say about by about 10%, about 26% of the students 
uh, have said that they want more explanation of company uh, profits, expenses, you know, and just like the, the overall stats in the game. So that's something that we're actively working on. It's going to be one of the new features that we're going to release uh, very, very soon. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. We're also going to release a little bit more clarity on products and what the student is actually building and what their team is building, because that's been something that people have asked for. Um, and as well, we're working currently on a module for marketing and user acquisition uh, to expand out, you know, how how students go through that customer discovery process, how they uh, acquire new users and to give them a little bit more knowledge and insight into that. Uh, now, one of the other uh, pieces of feedback that we received, is, and this is new to our second alpha, so this is really cool, is that we asked students how enjoyable was their experience with Startup Wars, right? And we can see that uh, over 70% of students have rated it a six or above, with the majority being in the seven to eight and nine range. This is awesome, right? You know, when we talk about you know simulation software, and I'm going to switch over here really quick to just look at some of our competitors, right? You know, the the competitive landscape for Startup Wars and for Startup Simulations is nearly non-existent. All the competition out there is focused really on just a web, it's like an Excel sheet as a web form. So, you know, there is no real experience there. It's just, you know, click, 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 and you don't really get that feeling. And Startup Wars, the goal is to put the player in the actual environment of having their own company, uh, which is what we've done. And we see that the results are really, really positive. Now, being enjoyable is not uh, enough, right? We also need to make sure it's educational. So we asked them how educational was the experience with Star Wars. And again, the majority of students said it was educational, right? We had about 65%, I believe, so it rated it a six or above. Now, this is scaled a little bit lower than the enjoyment side, and that makes sense to us, right? We're still in our second alpha, and we're working on building out additional educational content. So this is something that we're going to want to improve uh, over the next couple months, you know, as we get closer to our full launch. But it is uh, still very, very positive results. And it's what we like to see here. We also, and this is kind of just, you know, some comparison data. We also asked students if they've played other business simulation software, uh, how would they rate it compared to other simulation games? And the vast majority of folks uh, rated it higher or they rated it neutral because they haven't used anything else, All right? So that's really good data too. So that's about all the data that uh, I think we're going to go over in this video. Um, we we will release a little bit more data once we finish the second alpha. So we'll go over like some of the rest of these survey results. Uh, but until then, you know, let's keep it very brief. All right. One of the other things that we released in this version are the employee levels. So if we get this little notification here, it tells us that the employee is ready to level up or be promoted. Now, now, what does that mean, right? You know, the level and the gameplay versus real life. Well, the promotion is essentially a way for rewarding an employee uh, and give it with more responsibility and more reward, right? When they do a good job and when their skills increase. So as your employees are working on various tasks, you will see that uh, they will start to accumulate experience. And once they hit a certain experience level, they're going to want to be promoted. They're going to want to increase their skills. They're going to want to um, learn some new things. They're going to take on additional responsibility and they're going to, going to want to get additional reward. So we've added that into the actual gameplay and we can see here if we want to increase our um, our stats here, right? Our, well, I'm sorry, if we want to increase our level of our employee, we are going to choose a stat to increase. So that means like you know, we can choose how to uh, train an employee and where to increase their the actual skill set. Uh, but we also would get a higher salary if we do this because the employees, obviously, if they get promoted, they're going to want more money because they're taking on more responsibility, which is very fair. So this has been something that's been asked for by our actual students. Uh, so we are happy to have built it in. Very excited about this feature. Uh, one of the next things that we're going to be building in is the personality um, and the rarity mechanics. So that way, you know, certain employees are more, you know, unicorns, right? You know, they're, they're diamonds uh, that you can, uh, you know, you, once you find one, you just definitely don't want to let them go. Uh, and the personality is going to affect, you know, the employee events that happen along the way, um, you know, how likely they are to do different things within the application. Again, all related to real life here. So those are some of the new features. Uh, very, very excited to have so many students have participated. A uh, quick update on how many students have participated. So, so far, we've had about 
uh, 828 students participate in this last alpha, which has been fantastic. Uh, it's really, really exciting. And we've had some participation from like Drexel University students, Ohio State, University of South Florida, Florida Gulf Coast, or Sinus and Seton Hill, uh, which is fantastic. Since then, we've actually signed up a couple more universities and a couple more classes as well. So this has been an amazing experience and we're seeing just a lot of adoption and a lot of uh, really awesome feedback from the students themselves. So that's it, everyone. That is all I have for you. Uh, again, this has um, been an amazing journey, amazing couple of weeks. Uh, we were going to start doing more of these video updates. So if you have anything that you want to ask for or anything you want to request in them, uh, please let us know. Uh, we're trying to provide as much information as we possibly can, uh, however we can. And yeah, we hope to really have you, you know, continue to enjoy your gameplay. Uh, if you haven't played yet, again, please reach out uh, because we would love to get you involved and love to have you, you know, try out the simulation. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we rely just like any startup, right? We rely on the feedback from our customers. Uh, so it's a really awesome opportunity to work with you all and we will see you in a couple of weeks. Talk soon.